Fly Guys, Happy New Year. Welcome to The Fly Life with Fly J. And if you have never seen my face before, I am Fly J. I am a flight attendant for a U.S. carrier, and I make flight attendant and lifestyle videos. Now, I know you guys have not seen me dressed up like this in a while, because you know COVID was going on. I also took a leave as well, and so... This is my first trip for the new year and I am back, I am back, I am back, I am back. And I am enjoying this. I miss flying, y'all. I really did. Flying is my passion. Traveling is my passion. And I missed it. And I miss talking to y'all. So I've been just trying to cook and, you know, introduce you to my family, take you um, on trips with me to visit my sister and all that good stuff. But now, I'm coming right back with these videos of being a flight attendant. So, I know that there's a lot of people that's been asking me questions about how to become a flight attendant and what's the good route to go, what's the, um, what are good airlines to work for. And to be honest with you right now, because of the pandemic, um, it might be a little hard trying to get on as a flight attendant. You may need to wait a couple of months until, you know, maybe like March or April when more of the major airlines start hiring. I did hear that some of the regionals were still hiring, like PSA, um, Endeavor, Envoy, maybe SkyWest. I used to work for them. I thought I heard something about SkyWest. So I would definitely check those, but I'm not sure about the major airlines because um, most of them, they had to furlough and they brought back some of their flight attendants that they furloughed so they're just now trying to get things back in swing of how it used to be so it's gonna take a couple of months for them um, if they do start hiring again so good luck to anyone that's out there going through the interview process congratulations to anyone that's just became a flight attendant and you know y'all keep your head up for all the flight attendants out on the line that's just you know flying and trying to stay safe sister and a couple of my friends actually contracted to COVID and um, they're pretty healthy so they were able to fight it just with minimum symptoms but I know that there's a lot of people out there that wasn't that lucky so um, I thank God every day for my my sister and my family and my friends that did get COVID that was able to fight it and they're fine now and you know anybody out there that actually is fighting it right now you know we're all praying and, you know, God bless you guys and just try to stay safe out there. I know that um, it's hard. It's very hard because the people that I know, they were trying to be safe and they still got COVID. So, you know, um, I always just recommend just making sure that your immune system is, a, you know, just uh, um, taking your vitamin C, your B12, your um, D3, you know, just do that as well as, um, you know, drinking a lot of water, getting enough rest. So that way, you know, if you do come across it, you can fight it. So, yeah, so that's it about COVID, y'all. So um, I did check my room. Like I always check for bed bugs. No bed bugs here. So you just check that. But um, yeah, so I am actually on a four day trip. And um, this trip is interesting because I have a triple layover in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, what I did, I, we flew from Dallas to Fort Lauderdale. This just one flight, so I'm here in the hotel tonight. So tomorrow, we fly from Fort Lauderdale to LaGuardia, LaGuardia back to Fort Lauderdale. So we're coming right back to this hotel. And uh, my report time is... At 12.20, my shuttle is at 12 o'clock. So we're right around the corner from the airport. So I really don't have to take an early shuttle. So um, we get back here probably around 8.20 p.m. So we're getting back so late. I don't have time to do anything, go to the mall or go get anything to eat, go to the beach or anything like that. So, you know, and based on the situation, I'm going to just go ahead and chill in the room. I got food with me. And to, uh, let's see what's tomorrow, Friday. So Saturday, we actually have a St. Thomas turn. So this will be my first time flying into St. Thomas. So I'm excited about that. So we leave for St. Thomas, I think, at 1, and we get back to Fort Lauderdale around 7 p.m. Then on Sunday, we leave out at 8 and we get back, 8 a.m., and we get back at 12, 
no, 8 a.m. and we get back at 10 a.m. So I will be landing early. So I'm glad that I'll be landing early on Sunday because I want to cook something special for my daughter. So, yeah, that's about it, y'all. So, you know, I am going to take this uniform off because I ain't worn it in a while, y'all. I got to get up out this uniform and put on something more comfortable and eat my dinner. It's actually like 12 midnight, y'all, but I'm eating my dinner and drink some water and I'm going to go to sleep. So I will see y'all in the morning. Bye. Well, good morning, fly girls and fly guys. This is day two of the trip. It is 12.15, somewhere around there. My check-in time is 12.20 to go to LaGuardia. So we're going from Fort Lauderdale to LaGuardia, then LaGuardia back here to Fort Lauderdale. So we're due to get back here around 8 p.m. So like I told y'all yesterday, it is too late to do anything once we get back, but that's okay. I just want to enjoy the weather. I woke up this morning and it was people out at the pool and the sun was out. It feels so nice. I don't have to wear my jacket or my sweater and I got on my dress. So I am happy right now and enjoying this weather. So I will see y'all when I get on the aircraft. Bye. location that it was in last time so I kind of like that for some reason I don't know if y'all do or not but you know leave it in the comments if y'all have like a thing for being positioned on your room being positioned on one side like you know when you walk into the hotel room you either have your bed on the left side or your bed on the right side like what do y'all prefer I honestly prefer for the bathroom and the bed to be on the left side when I walk into the room opposed to the right I don't know I just got like some kind of OCD thing about that so like you know every room that I get I just be hoping that everything is on the left side of the room I don't know what's up with that but anyways y'all um I'm tired we had an eventful <laughs> flight to LaGuardia and from LaGuardia to Fort Lauderdale was okay just going to LaGuardia oh my god Call bells was going off everywhere. We had a situation with the lap child. Like, it, it was crazy. You know, a lap child is a child under two. They supposed to be under two. They sit in your lap and they fly for free. But some people have five-year-olds trying to pass them as one-and-a-half-year-olds. And we know that this child can probably go out and get a full-time job. You ain't a child no more. <laughs> So you can't be sitting in the lap. But I don't know. They got it past the gay agent. So I don't know. Like whatever. But yeah. We had to deal with that. And then we had some other issues. But other than that. Our flight back to Fort Lauderdale was easy peasy. Everybody was cool. So you know. We got on back. And I am happy to be back at the hotel. I just ordered some food from this place called the Fish Grill. And they are like a two minute walk from the hotel. So I'm going to go walk over there and get my food. All right, y'all. Bye. Morning, fly girls and fly guys. This is Saturday morning. So this is day three of the trip. We are on our way to the airport so we can do our St. Thomas turn. It is now like 12... 12 o'clock or something like that my sign well almost 12 my signing is at 12 30 and we leave around like 1 20 so um yeah we supposed to get back to the hotel probably about seven today 
So, um, well, seven this evening. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some footage going into St. Thomas. Uh, we're not getting off the plane, we're staying on the plane, unfortunately. But I'm gonna see if I can get some stuff to show you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. So, these are our new seats. See, they look so sleek. So this is a 320. This plane holds 182 passengers. See the tray tables? They're still small, but they just kind of changed the design just a little bit. Why, guys, I just gave you a sneak peek of the new design of our new aircrafts with the all black seats. Because, you know, before our seats used to be blue. So this kind of fits our outfit and the whole colors of the, the color scheme of the company. Um, I am flight attendant B. So my compliance area is the exit road. So we got two exit windows here, two exit windows there. So that's going to be my compliance area. And um, I'm in charge of briefing the exit road. I sit in the back here for this trip. I've been flying lead for the rest of the trip, but with this one, since we're doing the turn, um, I am flying position B. So y'all, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to check in with you and show you our new plane because I'm excited about being on it for the St. Thomas turn. And I'm excited to um, look at the water and the white sandy beaches too. I wish I could stay here with everybody, but I can't, I gotta go. But anywho, I'll be back. Hi guys, we have now made it into St. Thomas. So we're outside the plane, just taking selfies, looking at the hills, and look at those woods. All the homes. The weather's nice. The wind's blowing. Um, seems like it could be like probably like 70 degrees or something, or I don't know, but it just feels so nice, and I don't want to go home. Or I don't want to go back to Fort Lauderdale, but we got to leave in like 30 minutes, so we'll be headed back. All right, y'all. Hi, guys. I have made it to the hotel, and y'all, <laughs> look at the room. Wait, let me show you, because we just talked about this um, yesterday. So, come in the door. My bed ain't on the left. My bed is on the right. But I got a king size bed. The last two days I had double, so I don't know, I guess. I don't know. I still prefer prefer when I walk in the room to be on the left side. But anyways, I'm gonna just enjoy this king size bed. So y'all, I always have to come in here and check everything. Then I gotta check my refrigerator because I have water and yogurt. So, my thing will stay cold. What kind of do we have? that I can kick my feet up on. <laughs> but y'all, so my flight um, was pretty easy to St. Thomas. Um, we made to St. Thomas. We had uh, almost a full flight going. Coming back, our flight wasn't full at all. Um, what else? Everything was pretty good. Like everything, everybody was um, chill because they were going on vacation and coming back from vacation. St. Thomas was gorgeous, gorgeous. I wish that I could have stayed. I actually want to plan a trip there um, sometime soon because I've never been to the Virgin Islands. So I went to go. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm plan me a trip to the Virgin Islands, y'all. And I might take y'all with me. But anyways, I already <laughs> figured out what I'm going to eat. I either want a pulled pork sandwich or I want some wings. 
and there's a restaurant that's like right in walking distance i can walk to get my food and then come back to the hotel i can actually order it but i don't feel like waiting for it so i just want to go get it and then come back and then too you know i just like walking around anyway for exercise and just enjoying the florida what weather real fast so that's what i will do all right y'all well i will show y'all what i'm about to eat when i eat it okay